go. So here I am, Andrew Gibbons, and I have Rebecca Norton with me to discuss, uh, in this case, a fairly recently produced by oneself model with a rude name, but um, purely coincidental in relation to the four issues that it uh, touches upon. So Rebecca, um, throwing it over to you immediately, what does this um, do for you? How do you think you could use this in practice? I like it. Because I think because it's a rude word, I think it's, it's something that you can easily remember for a starter. So I think that always I think that's a good tip for yourself is actually make it something memorable when you're capturing your learning. If it's more memorable, you're likely to be able to retain it better. Yeah. So yeah, I think capturing you know capture things how it works for you I, th I guess that's the important bit isn't it so mm -hmm. I, I do tend to make lots of notes and stuff and I use lots of color on it and, and when I'm doing that but capturing helps me to retain the information yeah but I think for me the step where I probably struggle with <coughs> the application is how yeah. do I apply what I've learned and how to remember what I've learned so I, I, I've, over the last sort of year or two I, I have had occasions where I've got very frustrated thinking gosh I've read this before in a different book but I'm obviously not applying it and that's you know and I think oh why how do I apply what I've learned so um and actually it was something that when you did the the session for us at mm -hmm. the coaching exchange yep. there were some questions that you asked that got me thinking right how do I implement my learning and that's got me thinking over the last few weeks about how do I apply what I've learned um, and I think that's the most important point for me. I, I love learning for learning's sake, but yep. it's much more effective if I can apply it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, I think so. And I, mean, I don't want really to become a bit of a purist here. Um, I think a lot of what we call learning is, I'm going to say nothing more than, it's not intended to demean or diminish it, it has yeah. value, but a lot of what we call learning is nothing more than insight or knowledge. Mm. Um, it doesn't become learning for me until it's put into practice and so you can see it behaviour yes yes because learning is a change of behavior often yeah. is one of the definitions isn't it really yeah it is and, and i think a lot of people say oh i've learned this and i say really how are you using that and they look mm. at me a bit strange because people think knowing about something equals learning well learning requires application as you say that's a conscious process saying how can i use this that i think i've learned and then of course after that comes the one that i trip up on that's horrible for me and that's persistence mm. um, I'm pretty good at capturing, hey, look, this is good. I can see it for what it is. Retention, I need notes also. And you've got to make notes, I find. Um, yeah. I've got to make notes. You've got to make notes. Not everyone has to make notes. But by whatever means, you think it through, you write it down, you talk it through as someone, you embed it, it becomes retained. And as you say, then come the difficult two. For you, the difficult one is application. For me, the difficult one is persistence. Yeah. Yes, I suppose my persistence. <laughs> if I go, maybe if I could get down the application, then I could get to the persistence part. <laughs> um, and sticking with it, but I, I am learning to persist. I think. Uh, it's ironic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's sort of learning to persist in things. So I, I've come to that point now where I realise that I'm not necessarily applying things as much as I would like to. Sure. So now I'm persisting in learning how to apply it and trying yes. out different ways of applying it really i like that because persistence isn't just something a discrete thing on its own you need to be persistent in your application for instance mm. yeah yeah definitely and it like you said it, it's far easier to persist in something when you enjoy it or you see the benefit of it mm. if it, if it's just difficult and it's hard work and you're not actually seeing the immediate benefits then it can be very difficult um but unfortunately that that's the case with some things, isn't it? You know, so when people go on diets and whatever, often they struggle <laughs> because they maybe don't see the immediate benefit. So you have to. So is that to why trust. I failed my solo level twice? <laughs> I, I, I managed to pass my driving test after four tests. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, it's sort of thinking. Well, I can't, I can't necessarily see the purpose of doing this, uh, and therefore you haven't got the motivation to do it necessarily. Where for you, learning to pass your test yeah. was probably a really important step for you. You know, absolutely. Um, yeah, I convinced myself I didn't need to know about algebra and equations, um, but I convinced myself also that if it took eight tests, I'd have to learn to drive. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a really, yeah. Sorry, I've got to cut into there. I'm, I'm, I'm rude and interrupt a lot. <laughs> Over yeah. to you. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking, actually, I'm just reflecting in action here is I'm, I'm wondering if I, if it would help me to mm -hmm. remind myself why I'm doing it mm. and that would help me to apply it more easily. Remind yourself of the value of yeah, to apply. Yes, yes. And remind myself, right, why am I doing this? And this will help me to do X, Y and Z. Mm. And then I might be able to persist more in it and apply it <laughs> and, and to do that consciously and, and yeah. slow down in real thought time. Yes, yeah. And it's taking action. So, because I like to read in the morning, and uh, so I, this is something I've I've done since, like I said, I've just been going through this process. So I'm making notes now mm -hmm. from the book because often I'll read it and think, oh, that's really useful. Yeah. And then five minutes later, I've forgotten it, and I'll find something else Absolutely. that's really useful. So now I'm trying to make some notes, but as I'm making the notes, I'm thinking, well, I actually need to put this into action. So the notes are only the first step. So Absolutely that's the capture, right. isn't it, really? And the capture and retention for me sort of come together yeah. to some extent. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm thinking, right, how do I actually sit down and apply it? And I, and I think part of that is actually prioritising and making yeah. it happen. That's part of the application process, isn't it? You know, it, it will only happen <clears> if we make it happen. I think so. And, and, and I think there is a value in nothing more than knowledge uh, you know noting something yeah. is beneficial it broadens your awareness of things it uh, it gives you insight i'm not saying that everything we know has to result in something behavioral um, perhaps we need to be able to filter through from what we know the things which are worth making the effort to apply behaviorally yeah yeah which ones are going to make our lives easier mm, yeah yeah because after all, if all we did was try and apply everything that we know, that would be crazy because we we just yeah. cut through our brains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you do. Like you said, I think that that filtering process is really important, isn't it? What's what are the important part, parts to us? Mm. Or, or what does what you know? If you if you're reading a book, and I read a lot of articles, I don't read so many books these days. I re, I read and know articles. Um, it's about saying, I guess from this article from all the words that i've read and noted what's the one or two things i'm going to do as a result it's it's distilling down um yeah. key actions resulting from a lot of insights yes yes just choosing one or two things and i think that's something else that i've learned over the last couple of years as well is actually just focus on one or two key points key actions right how can i implement these and once you've done that then you can look at other things if you want to can't you and, and build things up gradually I think so. And, and after all, we're not machines um, and we're not robots. We we do things imperfectly. We do things um, that require a revisiting. And sometimes I certainly I think we expect too much of ourselves. Um, it's OK yeah. to, to <laughs> yeah. revisit something and say, hey, it didn't go right the first time. Let's keep at this. Yeah. Definitely. And I and for me, I often find that hearing the same message over and over again in a slightly different way or from a slightly different person is sometimes just what I need. Mm. That's that's the key for my learning is to uh, a rituation, a sort of uh, what, what is that? Sort of like a almost like a validation thing. I'm I'm, I'm using words which um, are probably not the right words here, but it somehow confirms the importance of it, the significance of it. I don't know. Yeah. Yes, and it's like, oh, I've heard this before. And I often find, I don't know about you, but there's that synchronicity. So if I hear a concept or something. Oh, I, I, um, I had that album back in the 90s. <laughs> yes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I think if once you've heard it once, then you, a couple of days later, somebody else will be talking and it'll come up again for you, it'll pop up. And that's for me when I think, oh, I need to take note of this. This is the second or third time that this has come up just recently. Mm. That's obviously a sign that I need to take notice of that. I, I think that's also a bit about capture, isn't it? The, the wider your range of um, sources from which you capture learning, um, the more that's going to happen. If you confine yourself to only what you think, you're not yeah. going to gain from the perspectives of others. Yeah, and I think oh, that's what you were saying earlier, is actually sometimes just learning for that sake is, is just as good because it does broaden your awareness, it broadens your horizons to some extent. And I, I think that can help you through life. So, yeah. Right. Well, I think we could persist with this for much longer, but um, we've got to close it down uh, as ever. Um, some good stuff there. Certainly a lot for me to reflect on. Um, thanks a lot for that, uh, Rebecca. Thank you.